Hello fellow beings of Middle-earth and welcome back to the Angmar campaign. This is the seventh episode and I have a big surprise here. It looks like the ring is indeed in Hobbiton and it's going to be the Witch King himself which is going to capture it. I don't know how this is how this works because there are no generals here anymore but we're going to be able to capture Hobbiton in the next turn. This is definitely quite interesting. We'll have to see what will happen but if we get the ring already, that's going to be very interesting. Now, let's just end the turn then. Because this is quite a peculiar case. I've never seen this before. Uh, an empty town without the ring. But I think we should still be able to capture it. And that would be quite legendary. Capturing the ring in both Isengard and the Angmar campaign. Like right after each other. And then we would probably hand it over to the Lord of Mordor, uh, I suppose. And we would probably get a prize for it. I'm not quite certain how that works. I've never played Orc Factions that long before. I have only played Isengard mostly. I've never played Orcs of the Misty Mountains. I have played Mordor and got Assault of the Blue Dwarves. All the Blue Wizards, of course. So it's a count lost. The blue wizards have progressed, it looks like. Alright. Just going to Such occupy, I suppose. Now, we'll probably have to wait one turn uh, to see if we have actually gotten anything. Now, let's just build some kind of watchtower here. Let's just have the witch king here for now. And then we should head out for uh, Anuminas. Ah, clans of Enderwath and Dunlandings are now at war. That's always beautiful, because they will both border us in not too long. Now, a fan of I was actually thinking about bringing here, but I guess he could stay in Hobbiton and just keeping the culture alright. Yeah, we're going to head out for these villages in not too long. Can we actually leave these guys? No, we need to keep them all inside here. I guess we should have sacked this place. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. But we'll get a pharmacy here. It will be just alright. Now let's just uh, get some troops over here. We definitely want to start expanding and take out Anominas. Yeah, he could potentially attack us. I don't think he is going to do it though. Okay, Lord Skilled, you were Yeah, you were going to attack over here. And we are getting troops here, of course. As you command. my lord. Let's just bring the trash. And we'll ta have to find a settlement. Let's see, we are getting more troops here as well. These guys are now getting some nice armor and we'll get the blacksmith. The black iron plate um, is the armor upgrade we'll give. We'll have the next episode, uh, next turn or so. Oh wow, that wasn't supposed to happen. So these guys, I suppose, you just send down here. Don't really know why I train them. Probably because these guys. Now we need to let more units just stream into Eriador. We can't recruit properly in this place just yet. We can't even build anything here. And our money, like, we're building stuff everywhere, so it's not a lot to do. Over here. Himladis have a nice garrison now as well. And these guys, I guess we could just fortify these places. I don't see a reason why not, since we already have the money. Now, Drangu. Is this a rebel? No, it's Dundine. They're just standing there. I don't know why. I suppose this army could be brought down. He is actually going to attack. Well, I'm going to fight this battle off camera and I will be right back. These wargs are now feasting on Dunedain flesh. They were slaughtered. Lost a couple of wargs, but it's fine. We can now move on either Anominas or... A settlement in the north. I have not decided just yet, but I think we'll have 
you know, the troops I actually sent to Bree, we're going to send them over to the Witch King. And then we're probably going to be able to start attacking Anaminas uh, from that situation or from that place. Now, this is a very nice image of the world. However, it really looks like Drango has got to stay here. What if we bring these guys out? Yes. It's going to be fine though. But do we have any troops incoming? Yeah, these guys are coming. As well as Harkon. You know what? You could probably start moving up here instead. Tried whipping them, but the men are spent. And here, these guys are going to go in a turn. Get ready for fighting, my lord. Can already send the wargs to be honest. Victory Just have them there. You will go there. The witch king. We'll see if he captures the ring. It's going to be very interesting. We will see it in the next turn if we if he really captures it. An order. Now Drango. I suppose you could. You guys are heading here. So, Come and get me, you big An order. however, teaming up two forces yes. would also be quite nice. <laughs> Alright, just go for uh, Anuminas after this one. Victory. And here we're going to build the... Yeah, let's get the land clearance next. Just get some more population growth. I think I am building in most places. I've queued up a lot so we don't have to watch me just going over buildings. Because we are expanding really rapidly, and then that uh, certainly becomes a large part of the campaign. Yeah, we're just building every everywhere we can. We're just making a lot of money as well. An order. Yeah, let's just end the turn again. It's not long until the barracks went, which I'm looking very much forward to. Because we're going to see a lot of new units. And I really want to get some trolls and... Wow! The dwarves are coming. This might start off the war. Like, they're right outside us and we only have the Witch King there. Or, like, it's not only the Witch King, but... It will certainly be... A bad situation for us. I don't want to lose the Witch King, because if they bring a very large army... They will probably be able to bring us down. Oh, we'll see if they attack Camethbrin. You never know about the goblins, because they're bothering us on so many fronts. Oh yeah, Django is going to um, marry Liv, ha Hornburg siege, Barry Doniak, Karandos under attack. The one ring has been found. Jeez, we actually found the ring, guys. Yeah, this guy can't do anything against these. Wow, that we actually got the ring with the Witch King, that's just... Yes. Wow, the one ring <laughs> once again. This is just so funny. Now, he got a lot of more hit points, that's awesome. Now, I wonder what Mordor is going to do about it. They're probably going to ask us to... Yes. To give the ring to them or something. The power, we can actually just go straight in for these guys. I'm just going to fight this battle off camera. There's like no way these guys can tear us apart. Eating the last lumberman. And there we go. Let's end the battle. Perhaps we can even adopt a general here. Probably needed in the long run. Now what I like is that we actually capture the ring in Hobbiton. Which is... Only time that the ring script is actually lore friendly. It just happens very, very... Uh, not very often, to be honest. And I think the ring script in Divide and Conquer could potentially be a lot better than it already is. It's just kind of random where the ring spawns. And it's just kind of we weird. Sometimes it spawns in Erebor and it just makes no sense. Oh, I actually forgot to sack this place. That's stupid. If we bring out the Witch King now, I think we should be fine. My lord. My lord. Ah, Sackle is also here. Well, this is a lot of free, free land, to be honest. 
Now, which king you're going to head off over here? And Hunwan, you're actually going to stay in the Palo instead. We go no further today. Yeah, we can just sack all of these places, just get them now. Where did we send this army? Oh yeah. Let's send this army out now. And we're just going to place them in different uh, places. Now you can actually act as a scout. Oh yeah. The Dundan are fucked. Conqueror of Fornus Arime. Wow. Alright. Now let's... Let's get these guys to Demonstike. You as well, just go to Demonstike. It's going to be a while until we can start recruiting here. Master Sheriff skill, let's just bring that down. Can we recruit? Yeah, we can actually recruit units here now. Let's just get everything we can. That's definitely needed. Let's get some wargs here as well and some infantry. Let's just get the lead worker for, why not, some extra coins. These guys are just going to stay in the fort. In case the goblins decide to backstab us. It's nice to have some extra units. And here is Gobadrine, and it's a village. Okay, we're just going to... Yeah, why not just bring them down? Do we have a mission? No, that's Bari Doniak, which is over here. Alright, well, we ta we'll take... I suppose we can just let the Dundain have a go at it first. Like, why not? Let's see if they actually decide to attack Gobadran. We can head out for um, Baridonyak in the meantime. We're really conquering the whole of Eredor, aren't we? We should go... Yeah, I think Gobadran is all of this area. It might be another settlement over here, I'm not quite sure. Alright, that's nice. Let's get more wargs going. Definitely just want to get them everywhere we can. Was it here that we were getting the ballista? No, I don't quite remember where that was. But we are, yeah. Let's see if something will happen with the ring now. Oh, we forgot to move those troops. And they are leaving Anuminas. This could very well backfire for the Northern Dundine. The enemy has surrounded oh, the dwarves are attacking us. Erdluin scouts, dwarven laborers. And to Munzaha nobles. 30 defense, 18 armor. We have some Javis. We're definitely going to spend them well. I think we could be able to pull this off. We do have a Fanasir. However, these guys are probably armor piercing. No, they're actually not armor piercing. Well, that's very great then. A Fanasir is going to be able to hold up pretty well. The Dwarven Labor is just a normal unit. They are effective against armor though. And Erlun Scouts. Seven missile attack, that's definitely dangerous, and they're effective against armor. So these guys are essentially warg uh, slaughterers, so we'll have to watch out for them. Uh, I will show this battle just to show off some of the Ereluin um, units. I will see you on the battlefield. Alright, I just thought I should show you this map. I have never played on this map before in a campaign, that's really cool. I just love this map, it's very beautiful. It resembles Hobbiton pretty well, to be honest. Now they are down this hill, so we're just going to rain some hell upon them. And our Javis will definitely be needed for the Tumon Sahar nobles. So I'm going to wait a little bit just to try to bring down the Ered Eredluin scouts a little bit. Afanasir is our factionary, so we definitely want him to survive for a little bit. Uh, these guys might actually be targeting us now, I'm not sure. And these guys probably have a lot of armor. So it might actually be wise to just charge these guys uh, right into these guys. They're actually reforming now, so I'm going to um, I'm going to take advantage of that. We definitely want these witch knights to uh, attack two monster nobles. These guys are going to tear us apart because they're armor piercing. We're going to use our wars in the back. After these guys are brought down, 
Oh jeez, they actually got in some some bolts. Now let's just make another charge. These guys are going to stand. Yeah, you could actually just stand here and give them some walls in the back. That's going to crush these two Monsar nobles. There we go. That's some nice. And then after afterwards we're going to send them into melee. Now you gotta stay in god mode for now. They're actually targeting these guys now. That was another nice charge. Flying dwarves, it not often you see. Definitely not. These guys are kind of retreating as well. Now. And the, this dwarf unit is now kind of fucking themselves. Wow, 25! They have been slaughtered so much. That's wonderful. These guys are going to slaughter our witch knights though. So we gotta, gotta make sure we bring these guys down pretty early. So that these guys can help up here. But Angmar definitely have the units to um, bring down uh, factions like the Dwarves of Eredluin. They have so many armor piercing units, which is going to play into our favor. Now, the Dwarves of Eredluin have a lot of good crossbowmen. I believe they have like the fastest firing crossbows. I don't remember, but I believe that's what they are. Essentially, all right, these guys are absolutely getting slaughtered by these works. The armor piercing is just working very well. Now we definitely don't want to lose our finals here, though. Now I'll give this dwarven laborers a charge. You as well. Actually, you can hit these guys. That was not a very good charge. I suppose we could shoot some arrows in their backs. I don't know how much armor these guys have, they have a lot, but in the back they don't get, yeah they actually don't have shields so it won't really matter, but we're just going to rain, rain help on them, should work out. Now give, give these two Monsahar nobles a charge as well, yeah this is going to bring the laborers down, they're actually going for the town center now it looks like, they look pretty cool these dwarves. Not the most amazing Dwarven unit by the looks, but they still look pretty nice. Now that they're going to be slaughtered in melee, so we don't want to leave them there. Alright, I think a charge would be more efficient if you guys bring down those guys. There we go. That's what I want to see. They are getting crushed. No, no Dwarf can stand against Swargs. These words are just so efficient. There we go. Beautiful. Dwarven labor is getting crushed, but we don't want to leave them in melee too long. And you guys need to bring down these guys, which is going for the town center. Actually bring them bring down these guys first. And they are routing. Alright. You guys now head for the two Monsaha nobles. And you just bring down, yeah, bring down the two Monsar nobles. Both of these guys are going for two Monsar nobles. Let's see, they're right here. Let's just stand these guys here and let them fire. And you guys can bring down the last Herluin <laughs> scout, which is only one. Right, they're coming now. Go back. Just going to let them stand like here and the witch knight should not charge up that hill okay now they're stuck just have to bring them in now these guys are going to go around the flank they did not kill that one erdoin scout that's pretty amazing all right both are going to go behind these guys are actually slaughtering our bodyguard don't want a fantasy to go down he's the son of agendar himself there we go, now they should start to drop. They are doing very nice though. Dwarven elites guys, they can be used to help, like they can just be used so efficiently if you use them properly. Just going to surround them, it's going to be our best so But we are winning this battle. We don't even need the Witch King, just imagine how the Witch King would have performed though. 
his armor piercing, so a charge from the Witch King against these dwarves would have been devastating for the dwarves. Only eating up this general. Is like, these guys have insane hit points. Like, there's still two. If we continue like this, and we're still we'll losing you. units. This is just so ridiculous. Now it's under the general left. And there he goes to a witch knight. Wonderful. Great defense. Now we gotta be aware of the dwarves of Erdlund. They're probably going to start pushing us. Now I'm tempted to not go for the village um, and instead just head for Erdlund with uh, Lord Skull. Let's get some armor piercing units and some pikes and let's get going. We're going to send the whites with him. We're going to get a lot of stuff done. The whites against the bodyguard would have been amazing. There we go. We're starting to earn money in Hobbit now. And once we take Anuminas, our borderlands will... Yeah, they will be quite alright. We have already established ourselves in a very large part of Eredor. And it hasn't even turned into the barracks went yet. So it's going to be very, very interesting when the barracks event hit. I really want to get those overpowered Drangu units. Uh, what happens now? Oh yeah, we probably have to deliver. Oh yeah! Deliver the one ring. Oh shit. We have to bring the Witch King all the way to Mordor. That is quite... That's not really what I wanted. Uh, I guess we could deliver it to another general though, if that works out. Alright, let's just bring down Sacril. Let's sack it. Victory! The settlement has fallen! Take the spoils of war! Alright, that's fine. I'm almost tempted to just cheat the Witch King all the way over here and just deliver it. Like, I'm, I think he's going to get killed on the way. I do not know though. Uh, I'm going to wait a little bit and I'm going to let you guys decide the fate of the Witch King. I really just want to use him as a bodyguard. And we could try to deliver it to some other guy though. I'm going to try that. Let's try to deliver it to Afanas here. Yes. Orders. My lord. An order. My lord. As you wish. We are well positioned. An order. Yes. Alright. Let's see if we can actually give the one ring to Afanas here. Yes. Yeah, it actually worked out. Alright. That's yes. fine. Afanasir, gotta head all the way down to Moran now. <laughs> I'm just... I don't really understand how this is going to go. He's certainly going to get killed, like... There's just no way. We're probably going to get at war with a lot of factions as well. We're going to march through the whole of Rohan. Well, you guys vote on this. If I can just transport him all the way over there and just let it go. I think it wouldn't really hurt us. Now you go no into here. You guys stay here for now. Ecthelion. Yeah. An order. Moving to crush the enemy. Just going to wait a little bit with that battle. Your will, my lord. You guys head to this fort. You as well. As you wish. Your will, my lord. Now it's pretty cool though. That we have a mission to Begone. deliver the ring. Yes. And it could potentially be quite interesting to see how it ends as well. Now the dwarves are certainly going to mark themselves in not too long, but they're quite far away still. Oh, there's still another town over here. Uh, we're going to border Linden in not too long. This is going to be... Yeah, this is definitely going to be something. Linden is over here, and here is Mitchell Delving. We're going to wait a little bit. Now, which king head up here? 
impossible, my lord. I've tried whipping them, but the men are spent. We'll get this Hillman camp after we build some temples. Let's get the temple here. Azul, Thirdling. Alright, these guys we can just abandon now. Same with these guys and these guys. Now you guys can probably just head for this fort. Can we recruit anything more? Not yet. Let's get more units here. And you guys are just going to head over here. Need more units over here. Alright. Now I'm just glad I don't have to bring the Witch King all the way down there. That would have been such a pain. Even though it would have been quite cool as well. Because it's the Witch King delivering it to the Dark Lord of Mordor himself. I don't know how much money you gain from delivering the ring, but I think it's quite sufficient. Or is, yeah, I think it's a lot. Okay, I just think we can bring down this guy. And I will see you right after the battle. Killed off they were. Arminas is now soon to be ours. And the last hope that the Dunedain had in the west is soon to be gone. Arminas was once the capital of King Elendil himself. And now it has fallen to... The men of Rudar and Orcs. Like, they have really fallen apart from what they once were. There we go. Candid, let's just take a look at what. Can't really see it, but. Ah, uh, yeah, it's like two units. They might actually be able to attack us if we start seizing out Anominas. Thorondir is just a normal Dundan bodyguard. I think they still, yeah, they still have some kind of settlement around here. So let's just head out for this settlement instead, actually. It might be Anominas, I'm not sure. I can greet you. Is this the same? No, it's another, they have another settlement here. I just want to bring them down very quickly. So let's just go straight for them. We can actually recruit Barrow White in Deadman's Dyke now. Wow. Oh, of course. That's awesome. Let's get them. Now, that's very cool. I definitely want to get Mengalen. I'm tempted to go and negotiate with them. We do have a diplomat somewhere. Diplomat. Uh, let's see. We don't actually have any diplomats. Just Let's just train one over here. I guess we could recruit one here, yeah. And we could try to trade, for example, the Palo for Mangalan. I guess that's a nice deal. Or they could get Sackwill, I don't really care. Sackwill, Sackwill would be even better because then we have a shield against any white and such. Which might want to attack us in not too long. Now, Linden is not far away. Mithlon itself is within our reach. The Witch King is here. And he's ready to face up some Noldor elves. Some Noldor elves, I mean. Okay, I think we can end the turn. We are probably building stuff everywhere. Except here. Let's just bring him in. And you guys as well. Head over here. Can't really recruit anything just at the moment. So let's see in Ladris. We can get a couple more units. I'm going to wait a little bit. Now we have this army prepared for the Dwarves of Erdluin, and that's very nice. Let's get... Yeah, we can soon recruit some more here. Let's just have some extra units. Can we... Yeah, actually we can't really get any more. We should get a great haul after this one. I'm just building the war camp to prepare for the barracks event. Alright, let's end the turn. Let's see what this brings us. Will they attack? And will we? Oh yes, they went for the bait. It always works. The AI is just so stupid. Anominas will be... Angmars. Alright. I will 
probably just play this battle off camera. It's just a usual Dundan battle. I will see you right after the battle. And there the conqueror of Fonsoran goes down. Thorondir is dead. And with it, Anuminas falls. Now, let's just not lose Drango. He has taken quite a few casualties. But he, like, I will say this, I think he is the best general for the whole of Angmar. If you can keep him alive, he's just such powerful. His unit is very good. Uh, let's just completely surround these guys. Let's bring out these guys, keep them alive. Let's just bring it down to these few Dundan bodyguards, which might be one of the last for the entire faction. We do not know. There's just no hope left. For the west, the men of the westerners. Now, <laughs> like capturing the ring with two factions in one in a couple of few days, that's just amazing. I rarely ever capture the ring. It's just very cool that we have captured with two factions. I have captured it with um, Gondor before. And I brought Boromir to the Mount Doom and dropped the ring and Boromir died, so... And there ended my campaign. So if you try to destroy the ring, certainly do it with a general you don't really care about. And there we go, Anamina, let's sack this place. Wow, it makes a lot of money. Now, Anamina is going to be an important city for us. It's going Victory! to be a shield against the Northern Dundine. I mean, uh, the Dwarves of Eredluin. Now, look at the map in the left corner. Um, it just looks so nice now. We almost hold the whole of Eredor. Now, nothing can stop us. Now, the Elves of uh, Linden and uh, Dwarves of Eredluin, they're definitely going to be a real enemy though. Lorien under attack, anyway, expands. The Pat who is already writing. An order. Well, we just gotta yes. head over here though. Here. Let's try to swap uh, the Palo um, with um, Mengalen. And White is probably going to attack us. Ah, we got a lot of troops now. Excellent. We're making very solid money now. Drango Liar. Okay. Ah, Baridonyak. They still have another general. Let's go at them, boys. Now we don't actually have any wargs in this uh, army, which is rather unfortunate. Yes. These guys can stay here for now. Drangu. I believe there is some other settlements over here, and they actually hold that settlement as well. Now this army is quite battered, so I'm actually tempted. Yeah, we're going to bring these guys over here. Right, they can go there in one turn, so I'm just going to wait for next turn. These Barrowites definitely need to go though into the fort. Just going to use our numbers in this battle. Wow, the dwarves are better doing. They're probably even allied to. Yeah, they might actually attack us here. But we do have some solid units. We have Cell Swords, Snorks, Spears, and Lord Skilled, and we can get some mercenaries. I think we would be able to win that battle. But it could be a hard battle as well. Yeah, these guys won't really yield as much damage. Put them in the fort. Just building everywhere. This is alright. Ah, the blister. It's here that we want to get the catapult maker, but we can't just yet. I believe it's the backs went we gotta wait for. Now these wards definitely headed over here. 
And we need to take out this Gobadan village quite quickly as well. It's not going to be a big deal. Now that fort is almost filled up. I guess we can get one more unit. These guys will all just head over here. Witch King. Uh, yeah. Okay. Of course. Let's try to swap Mengalen for Deep Hallow. Yes, my lord. And if we need Sackwill as well. What is it you wish to discuss? Deep Hallow. For Mengalen. I do not believe Alright, um if we ask them for Let's see, Sackwill. Mengalen and we'll give map info and we will pay 5,000 that's very generous on our part and it still just says balanced all right what if we give you sack wheel and the palo that's only balanced That worked out. All right. How could we refer an honor and a pleasure, my lord? So Mengalen is now ours, but they got the Palo and Sackwill. That just covers Enoath, so I think that's just fine for us. An order. Yes. Mitchell Delving. I'm tempted to let someone take it. They have a quite substantial garrison. Now, the reason I wanted Mengalen is, of course, because we can recruit Barrow White out of this place. So let's just get a couple of units in here. Yeah, it was probably a stupid trade, but it's, it's just cool to get more Barrow White, in my opinion. Okay, what about... Yeah, we'll have to wait one more turn for this army. Witch King. I think we need to start pushing the Dwarves a bit of ruin. Yeah, that's why we're sending these guys. We do have another general here. Alright, I want to build a couple of watchtowers along this line. Okay, you guys head up here. Oh, jeez, we had to cross the land. That's so stupid. That could put... Oh, we're... No, this is not their land, at least. Okay, let's end the turn one more time. Let's hope they don't attack us. That would just be out of this world. Well, we do want to bring down the Dunlandings, but if they attack us, the Goblins of Moria might attack us as well. These guys seems to be going for Ang Suul. And then just letting us kill off the Northern Dunlain. That I very much like. Or they might go for Gobedrain as well. Now I hope they take Gorbidran and then we're just going to take a large push against the Vultors. We just want to get as many Javi uh, dwarves as we possibly can. Then it's going to be no problem. At least the Dunlandings didn't attack us, that's nice. Mutual Delving. My lord. An order. Yes. As you command. Ah, more dwarves. We can just barely escape them. Alright, building some stuff. A port even. Now it's probably time to start recruiting more units here. 
And I'm just going to siege Paridoniac for now. These guys can have fun to mean us. And yeah, just keep streaming some units. We have a lot of force in this area. It's really fortunate. We need to keep someone here. Just in case these general links decide to attack. Alright, Aguilar. You better build some towers. And go back here. Nothing shall escape your notice in these lands, my lord. My lord. Yes. Let's keep we'll a lot of units down on the border here. We have very many forts here. Will, Jesus. Like, it's my just so many. Let's send these guys over to Lord Skill. I'm not going to attack them just yet. I'm just going to try to save as many troops as we can. Because we have so much money now. And money is not our problem. All of these guys... I guess I could just stay here. Now we could combine forces with these guys. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. I'm going to merge these troops. Who the one can stay here for now? He's the conqueror of Fenestrunium. And I'm going to let these guys... Your will, my lord. Yeah, we can wait one more turn by sending those units. But we're going to make a large army here and we're going to push... Maybe for Lindon. I'm not sure, but we have the Witch King here to lead an army. And he can definitely do some damage. Yes. And we, these guys are going to be able to do something as well. I'm just going to let... I'm going to wait a little bit and see what happens. Yeah, they now got proper armor as well. It's beautiful. Okay, let's end another turn. We forgot to move Afanas here. Oh, jeez, he's probably moving towards or through the lending lands now. Which means they might be even more eager to actually make war on us. Oh, he was actually able to get us here. No, no, no. We might lose the Witch King now, boys. This could potentially be very bad. Yeah, we got him out of it. We just had to auto-resolve that to actually be able to keep him alive. Because they had 139 pikemen. And there's just no way that Witch King could have pulled that battle off. Now, it looks like the dwarves are very eager now. And they are conquering. We need to... Yeah. We're going to establish a large army here. And attack them properly. While we have been idle, or we haven't really been idle. Oh, the elves is also on their way. North Athelion reclaimed. These guys could probably even take out Goldbrand. Okay, now it's time to make a large push, guys. This is the troops we have prepared for this specific reason we're still making money a fanaseer oh yeah it's of course because of a fanaseer yeah you know what he can't really move and just we we he's going to make us become at war i really want you guys to yes. vote on that or just tell me if i'm allowed to just cheat him all the way to the black gate and just let him deliver the ring. Or if you really want to see him go all the way over there. I just think it's going to screw up a lot of things, to be honest. But it's of course your decision. Captain Gina. Oh yeah, they're really pushing now, aren't they? Now this is a nice army, and if we merge these guys as well, we have a sufficient army. I'm tempted to leave Hobbiton for now, 
These guys could go down there though. Yeah, and with this army we would, we would certainly be able to defend it. But we're not allowed to have two generals in one army. So we'll have to send Hunvon out of the settlement just for one turn. The elves are moving in here. That's going to be some dangerous place. Uh, these dunlings are very keen on attacking us now. Let's get the grain exchange over here. Actually, let's get the blacksmith. Let's get the irrigation next. Just getting even more population growth. It's going to bring in a lot of money. And we're definitely going to need it now when we start war with all of these guys. These guys can move in here. Lord Skill is just going to siege these out for as long as possible. These guys can also join over there. And these guys can join here. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to handle the situation pretty well. At least for the time being, but this situation with yes, my lord. with a furnace and such is just very stupid. I think we need to leave some units there just to be able, but these guys won't attack us, to be certain of that. But we have very many forts here. We should actually just, oh yeah, we can actually recruit units here now. We should just recruit everything we can around this city, in this area. And just send them to the forts, so when Dunlop actually attacks us, we have units to really just attack them back. Just keep the units flowing. We need some real, real armies now. Alright, let's end the turn one more time. Northern Dunedain are sending over reinforcements. They are actually besieging Anuminas, however we have the large army outside so it will be no problem. Those guys are probably headed over for the dwarves. Yeah, it's going to evolve into a situation It's going to be a pain in the ass. Goblins are still just, I guess they hold off the Whale of the Anduin at the moment. Right. We got a lot of shit built now. And a lot of units. North of Tillen is lost again. <laughs> Anuminas. Gurin will be no problem. Captain Belly. Let's check if... Yeah, there's some pipe and there and such. An order. As you command. An order. Get ready for fighting. Moving to crush the enemy. Yes. And then we attack him with Drango. We'll be able to to deal with him. And here our other large army is just gathering up. I will only address you in battle. As you We're going to go all the way around so that he can't really catch us. Now these guys are just going for Gorbodrion. You guys are supposed to go down to these forts. You as well. Just going to get rid of those. All of these guys we can send over here as well. You guys head into the fort. Nice. These guys are like just saying to us, we want to attack you. Just so stupid. I just bring out another unit there just to make them 
understand what this deal is about. I don't want to lose Hunwa and try a sudden attack. That would be very stupid. As you wait, an order. And there. Now he's not so confident anymore. My lord. Now where's the Witch King? He's standing right here. There we go. Alright, these guys will be utterly slaughtered. I'm going to play this battle off camera. I can just show you the stats for these guys. They are pikes. Do I need to say anymore? They are overpowered nonetheless. And they have 9 total defense, which is quite good for pike units. Like... These are militia units, but they're still very powerful. Every Loon Scout, 7 missile attack, we saw them earlier. Alright, I'll fight this battle. There they go. We just used these two generals to slaughter them all. Let's see. Today. Yeah, the Witch King got the most kills. Like, when the Witch King just rammed into the crossbowmen, they just got entirely slaughtered. This, uh, like, the Witch King's units are, of course, armor piercing. So against almost any cav, they are also going to perform very well because they're effective against other mounts, like they're skilled against mounts. And in addition, they are armor piercing, so they're actually just cavalry slaughters to looks. And there they go. It was about time we show these buggers who the king is. Ah, how did that Captain Floy, he could probably. Yeah, let's just wait another turn. Let's merge these. He can actually not attack any of these guys, anyways. We're going to let Witch King lead his army, and Drango is going to stay in Anminas to defend. Oh wow, we have actually taken some toll. Now, yeah, we're going to be able to build it in the next turn, so it doesn't really matter. We have these guys on the way. Let's end one more turn and then we are going to finish this episode off. Let's get the Camille farming here as well. We're still going to be able to build a shrine or a temple. Temple it is. Oh, we have some like, works over there as well. Oh, they are actually merging their units. It looks like they're pushing pretty hard now. So we definitely want to start pushing them as well, so we're not just a target. They might hold large parts of this land. Not sure just yet. The goblins are just walking on our lands at any time. All right. Yeah, we got the temple now in Bree, and it looks like the Dunlendings have finally buggered off. Let's get a town guard. We definitely want to recruit units from this place. Oh no. Linden and the dwarves are now allied. That's no good news at all. Oh, these guys might just want to attack Hunwan at any moment. We're going to send those guys over there. Drangu, you stay in Anaminas. Alright, let's bring out the Archers as well. Witch King. You go and... Perhaps these guys will be able to, or did want to attack us if we're lucky. Ah, this is the last settlement they got, I believe. Eastern Numerador, alright. There we go. Yeah, it's still just a rebel, so we're going to be able to... Bring it down in next turn. That's going to be a nice addition against the dwarves. We have a lot of armor on most of our units as well. I guess we should just keep pushing units. 
even though it's going to yeah it's it's hitting our income but even with all of these troops on the field we're still making money that's just wonderful captain skilled wow all right we can place two of these guys in the fort now Agendar is safe at the moment. Like, if we decide to attack the Dunlans, we could take them out in a sweep, though. That's a nice thing. But they might want to take out this fort. It's just so stupid, the AIs. I don't want to risk skilled. I mean, Hunwar. I'm going to swap him for these units. Alright, let's just finish one more turn. I'm not going to manage anything, but I just want to see what will happen in Middle-earth. Now I think this campaign is going to be spiced up a bit once again, which is nice because it's been quite idle at certain points, but lately it has been a lot of action. The Siege of Amun Sul and we have just pushed on into Bree and we have got the One Ring. A lot of interesting shit has happened, of course. But it started very, very slow and it was very easy. But now it's probably going to be more of a challenge when we have to face the dwarves and elves at the same time. The greatest factions. North Thelion reclaimed. Alright, so we're going to end the episode right there. Now, I really want you to leave some feedback on, on the matter of the ring. Because I really just wanted to be able to trans, like, just bring him here with cheats. Because I think the travel through all of these lands is just going to get him killed. There's just, like, no way. But if you guys want it, I will do it. Just tell me what to think about it. And we will consider what to do. So, yeah. Leave some feedback about that. And in general, what enemies you want me to see facing yeah this is going to be next battle which will happen uh, off camera but yeah thank you guys so much for watching leave some feedback and i will see you guys for the next episode